Hello everyone, this is Chubbs back again with another Doom Builder tutorial. This one's going to show you how to create fog and also how to create slippery areas like ice and different things like that. So what we've got here is a square room right here with the player starting right here facing to the right. Then we just have a standard door and the room that the door connects with is a large outside area that looks like this. It has a low ceiling to make the walls look lower and it has a few imps placed around, a few trees, a shotgun in front of the door so that after you open it you can grab it and the room itself is just your standard room. So with that being said, making fog is really not that hard. All you have to do is first let's give this sector right here a tag that we haven't used yet which in my case is going to be one and click OK and now let's go up here and click this little scroll button to open our script editor as you can see I've already started a script so just type number include and then zcommon.acs in quotations and then after you type that type script one and then open in all caps and then do a opening brace and then a closing brace. Now in between these braces we're going to do something similar to what we did in our swimming pool tutorial only this time uh, actually deep water tutorial is what it was but this time instead of doing sector underscore, underscore set color we're going to do set fade instead of set color and after we've typed sector underscore set fade we're going to do a opening parenthesis and as you can see it helps us by telling us what our parameters need to be or our arguments so the first one is going to be the sector tag which will be one so I'll just type one the next one is going to be the uh, it's basically just going to be the red green blue values so uh, to make a fog effect what I usually do is just make all of the numbers equal to what to one another in the red, green, blue scale. So let's just go ahead and start with 100, 100, 100. Close it and then put a semicolon at the end. So this, what it does is it goes to the sector with the tag of 1 and it gives it a fog of this color. Now if you want to give a sector like a a red fog or a blue fog or green fog or anything like that just change these values that's all you gotta do then click this little lightning bolt symbol and it'll tell you that it compiled without errors then you can just close this window and so when we play the game this area will be sort of foggy and uh, before I show you this I just want to let you know about two ways to make it even more or even less foggy one of these ways is to increase or decrease the brightness of the room. The more, the higher the brightness is, the less effect the fog's going to have. And the lower the brightness is, the more thick and noticeable it will be. And another way is if you go to your script editor, if you make these numbers even larger, the fog will be uh, even brighter or even, even more colorful. So, uh, remember that the red green blue scale goes from 0 to 255 so if we made it like 255 255 255 it'd be really colorful and stand out a whole lot more but for now let's just keep it like it is and so uh, we've got the fog effect complete that's all we gotta do for that and to make this a slippery sector all you gotta do is just right click the sector itself right here where the effects are we're gonna click this button and uh, go ahead and just ignore what I'm doing there. Go under your predefined effects and look for number 79, low friction. Click OK. You can also just type the number 79 here in the special field without even having to go to that list. But after you've selected 79, low friction, click OK. And what low friction does is it makes it so that you 
uh, basically don't have a lot of traction. So like if you move and then you try and stop and go backwards, it makes you sort of slide for a second before you can regain your momentum. So what we've done basically is this is going to sort of look like a snowy sector and it has a fog effect to it and it's also going to make you slide. And something else I want to let you know about before I show you the footage is that I've went in and I edited my sky texture so that it's black and white rather than colorful so that it, so that it would look more foggy when you're outside instead of having the sky look real colorful because the uh, from what I've seen the the fog texture or I'm sorry the fog color does not affect the sky texture so uh, with that being said here's what it should look and act like <laughs> 